All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the Swedish tier 10 heavy tank, the Kronvon. Haven't talked about this tank in a while, uh, not necessarily my favorite tank anymore. When it came out, it was pretty cool, but after all the nerfs, I feel like this tank just sank lower than the Titanic. Uh, the, the developers saw this and they decided to more or less give this tank a quick little buff. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking today. Is the Kronvon actually going to become decent? That's what we're going to be finding out together. Now, what are the buffs and what are the nerfs regarding this tank? So the, uh, the engine is going to be buffed on this tank. So the maximum speed is going to increase by four kilometers as well as its overall engine power, as I just said. On top of that, the... Um, the turn rate of the tank is also going to be great. And of course, the reload time for each shell. So for each shell is going to be reduced by half a second. So that's not too bad, actually. What do we lose in this case? Well, we are going to be losing some aim time. Uh, the aim time is going to get worse. And of course, the penetration levels are also going to decrease for both uh, standard shells and for gold shells and uh, this is of course all right i mean the the buffs are going to give this tank definitely a second life but are the nerfs really going to take this tank uh down again i don't necessarily think so the aim time is not that critical because we do have uh uh, we do have special consumables, which allow us to aim much faster than most other heavy tanks at tier 10 anyway. And of course, on top of that, who really cares about 5 millimeter loss with our standard shells? I mean, I don't think anyone cares about that. And 10 millimeters with gold is not the end of the world, in my opinion. The Kronvon will still, as usual, have a low-key, you know... Uh, slow traverse, uh, not traverse rate, sorry, turn rate on the turret, but that is pretty much expected anyhow. Uh, the tank is still going to have all of its main features, and I think this tank is actually going to breathe a second life. Finally, after so long, the developers finally understood that they need to, you know, kind of buff the cron. And I feel like the Kron actually has a lot of uh, supporters among the player base. A lot of people really wanted to see this tank again. Uh, I feel like the E5 and the Kron were, you know, one of the community's favorite tanks. People really like this tank, especially the way it looks. And so it's great to actually be able to play this tank normally like we used to at some point. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this tank. Do you guys agree with Wargames' decision? Should they have buffed this tank a little bit even more? Tell me in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out. And I will definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.